Well, hello everybody, Anthony here. All right, I'm making some deliveries. Just left the Toyota dealership trying to lease a new truck. And I'm explaining to the the sales rep all the time. I'm like, bro, I just want the lease because every lease payment I can make a tax write off. Because the only truck I can get for um, over 6,000 pounds is the 1959. There's only one model Tundra that actually weighs over 6,000 pounds to qualify for the tax write off. So I'm like, all right, I'm just buying this because I want the tax efficiency of it. And the fact that being a courier for basically construction material, I need a truck, not an SUV. And whatever, I'm like, so that'll increase my income, plus, um, give me a tax write off. So they try to quote me for um, 18 months at least for like $15,000. Now so I said, I'm not buying tomorrow or today because I gotta go to Ford tomorrow and see what they got to offer. And then when I was walking on the door, like, oh, we can give it to you for 89 miles. Two grand down, one thousand one hundred a month. I'm like, bro, you're supposed to give me your best offer up front. If you're gonna try to give me some more insinuations to stay longer and make a deal at this time, that's bad business. You give people your best offer up front, and don't try to coerce them with your sales tax. Just like the sales rep, I don't know what to read. Let me out looking at the truck. He walked through the wall, all the features. Bro, how long have you been selling? I said, twenty eighteen. rookie sales people do they give their whole presentation before they even know that the person is a serious customer i told them from the ego i'm like i just want it for the tax write-offs if the finances make sense i'd be interested if not bye so y'all don't waste your time and then i even asked them, like how does it work so i know whenever you um you sell a vehicle you get a percentage of the commission for the sales of the vehicle They, they go off units. He gets a percentage. It's just like a sales commission. Every unit they sell goes into a pool and they get a percentage of the sales commission. All right, so basically, the dealership is screwing you. Because the way you're doing oh, they take good care of me. Like, no, they're not. Because if you stop selling, you stop making money. Now, if you're getting a percentage of every um, lease that you made, every lease you um, sold or you, you transacted, if you got a percentage of the monthly lease payment, then you'd have money that kept coming in whether you stopped working or not. But right now, you have to keep selling or you stop making money. About an hour later, my brother just, they kept trying to incentivize me. I'm like, dude, I'm going to Ford tomorrow. And so I told the financial guy when he came over and talked to me, he's like, there's no way you can do these business today. I'm like, no. So I'm here for the tax write offs. And I got stock in Ford and Toyota and Ford stock beat you also. Obviously, Ford's doing something a little bit better than Twitter. I'm, I'm like, it don't matter. I want the best deal I can get. I'm going to shop around. I'm not going to be stupid. I'm not going to fall for the same sales tax that I fell for when I got the Kia. So, do your research, shop around, and don't use your shady sales tactics on people, y'all. If you're relying on linear income to make your money, like this dude I'm talking to on um, LinkedIn, he sent me a friend request and then basically, um, pitched me on what he does, digital marketing or whatever helps increase the business. I'm like, awesome. Does that allow you to own your life and you have more time and money and more health that time and you can enjoy with people you care about? He's like, oh, that's what we're um, offering other people. I'm like, that's great. I agree. But is it allowing you to? No, yeah. I'm like, exactly. He's like, I'm almost there. I'm like, cool. As long as he's like, well, I might be doing it um, ineffectively. I'm like, Depending on if you like direct sales, because that's what you're doing. You're directly trying to sell your products or services. There's a more efficient way that doesn't interfere with what you're currently doing. That's the normal lifestyle car with the four hours second presentation. To see if he wants to get more out of life. But hey, it doesn't matter, y'all. If you enjoy direct sales, you can make a lot of money doing it. The issue is, you're constantly selling. And once you sell enough, then the residual starts to kick in and you make enough um, residual money to become financially independent. A more efficient way to do it is by building a home-based referral marketing business where you just simply go about your day sharing something you're personally benefiting from. And then once you've helped enough people, and now it covers your um, monthly overhead, which is what you're personally benefiting from. So, which is very, very easy to do. I said I've got like uh, two business partners. One's actually doing something and they're getting their own checks every month for their um 
people they've sponsored and helped out. But out of those two people, I get an extra almost hundred dollars a month just for sharing something I'm personally benefiting from while I'm going about my days, making my deliveries, and doing what I'm doing. Very simple, very effective. If you want more out of life, you have no excuse for not building home. It's not a working business. None. The only overhead you have is your personal products or services that you're personally using and benefiting from. You don't handle customer service. You don't handle the manufacturing of the products or the shipping of the products or customer complaints. You don't do nothing. You just simply help other people. You share something you're personally benefiting from. Helping other people get more out of life so they can personally benefit from what you're benefiting from. And they can personally start creating their own residual passive income. So if you like some more information about this amazing industry, let me know. And you all know to do that social media stuff. Like, subscribe, follow, share, all that beautiful stuff. Let me know how you're going about working towards earning your life. Or are you simply working towards earning a crap load of linear income so you can pay more in taxes and have no time freedom? Be great.